the Ebola virus has reached epidemic proportions in West Africa and the Congo. The president had stated that it was highly unlikely that the Ebola virus would show up on American soil. But as he was saying that, it had already reached Dallas. It was brought here by an individual who entered our country from the West African nation of Liberia, where Ebola is rampant. The citizens of the United States are indeed scared. We don't want any more Ebola infected individuals bringing the epidemic to our shores. We'll no longer allow these people to enter our country from epidemic stricken areas. There's a high chance that this will occur again. We must ask and plead for the FAA and the federal government and Obama to ban all incoming flights from any Ebola stricken region. We must call 202. 4561414 now and ask Obama to ban these flights. Get the FAA to do its job. Trash Pickers of America TPA are setting up guidelines for trash pickers in Ebola hotspots such as Dallas, Texas and Washington, D.C. Trash picking involves a major challenge. How to safely collect soiled equipment and items that could pass along the virus. Trash Pickers of America urges recyclers to ensure that the highest level of precautions be implemented in dealing with Ebola tainted waste streams. Trash Pickers recycle tons of waste each year helping save millions of cubic yards of landfill space. With the threat of Ebola infected waste, Trash pickers are asked to be wary of opening double-bagged waste. This is a clear indication of possible hazards present in waste streams. Also use of rubber gloves, goggles, respirators, and containment suits is advised. No cloth or bedding should be recycled as it may contain lead virus which is active for up to three weeks on open surfaces. Fabrics may contain bed bugs which could also spread the virus. Spray a mist of Clorox on all items salvaged to help kill viral particles. Stay away from stray dogs. In areas where Ebola is known to be present, dogs can carry the virus. Trash pickers of America are waiting for the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the Department of Transportation to issue joint guidance on waste recycling for trash pickers next week. Meanwhile, trash pickers of America are calling on trash pickers to Continue their effort to recycle in the face of the Ebola panic. Highland Hill Farm, a member of TPA, will continue to recycle and reuse tree pots. Highland is one of the largest growers of screening and buffering trees on the East Coast. It also recycles hundreds of tons of organic waste for use as compost in growing its green giant, Arborvitae. And sell screening and buffering trees for privacy and sound barriers.